Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the Auto Dark Mode app, which is a great tool for those who always wanted Windows 11 to switch between dark and light color modes automatically on a specific schedule. Before proceeding, it is important to know that this is a third-party tool and you should use it at your own risk. Okay, first let's look at the steps to install the application. You can get it from the Microsoft Store, however usually I like to install it using the Windows Packet Manager or the Winget command. And to do that just open a star and look for the terminal or command prompt. I'm going to run this as administrator and then I'm going to type this winget install command and then just press enter. Now that we have the application installed on the computer, let's configure it. First, open the start menu and look for the auto dark mode app. Now, first on the time page, we're going to turn on the feature. Now, from here, you can choose how you want the system to switch automatically between the dark and the light color mode. You can set custom hours from sunset to sunrise, depending on your location. You can also select this option to use your geolocation. And then there is this option. And I like this option because if you're already using nightlight and you have a schedule, this will make it a lot easier to switch between the color modes. Now, depending on the option that you use, you will have different settings to configure to schedule the switch between the color modes. Now, for this video, we're going to keep things simple and we're going to choose from sunset to sunrise. This will check your location location and then it will grab that information and it will set in the schedule automatically. Now, after you set the schedule, you have different options that you can configure through this application. Now, for example, if we go to this page, you can set different conditions. For example, do not switch while playing video games. Now, if you have a laptop, you can also use this feature that will switch to dark mode automatically when the computer is unplugged to conserve energy. And you can also configure some shortcuts as well. Now, if we go to the apps page, we can configure how applications change color themes depending on their capabilities. Usually you want to use the default settings, but you can also change this. So even if the system changes the color mode, apps will stay on a particular theme. You can even configure the Microsoft Office apps, but this is only for the legacy version. There are some tools in here, but usually you're not going to use them. One thing that I like about this app is that we can also go to the personalization page and we can also pick the wallpaper that we want to use depending on the color scheme that we're using using. Not only that, but we can also choose the accent color mode and even pick up a theme for the mouse pointer. Okay, first, let's go to the wallpaper page. And from here, first, we need to turn on the feature. And then we have to select the mode that we want to edit. In this case, the light theme. Then from here, you want to choose the type. And I usually prefer just to use the picture option. And then we just need to select the wallpaper. So let's use this one right here. So now we need to select the dark theme. We're going to choose picture and then we're going to select the image that we want to use when the dark theme is enabled. For example, this one. So as you can see, the desktop didn't change because we're not using the dark mode. Now to the accent color page. And from here, we can turn on this feature to select the color scheme that we want to use depending on the color mode that is set on the computer. You can set the theme manually and you can pick your own color or you can set it to automatic. You can do the same for the dark mode. Now let's go to the uh, cursor settings and you have to enable the features and then you can select the theme depending on the color mode. Now for the light theme, I'm just going to choose this one. And for the dark color mode, I'm going to use the black option. And I'm just going to say that that's pretty much all you have to do. The app also includes a page so you can configure to run a specific scripts when switching applications, but usually you're not going to need that. And if we go to the settings here, you can configure some clock settings, language settings and updates. Then if we go to the system tray, we can see that the auto dark mode app is running in the background. We can make it visible by just dragging the icon. And then I'm just going to right click on it and I'm just going to select the force dark theme so we can see how this application works. Now let's switch to the light theme. Now, because I use the force option, if you've done the same thing, make sure to click the option again to clear that setting so the application can automatically switch between the color modes automatically. And that's it. I do believe that this is kind of like the best way to switch between the dark and the light mode automatically on Windows. And also let me know in the comments what you think about the app and if Microsoft should actually implement this into the operating system. Also like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.